Hello to all of you possum people, it's me Grand Pin here. Before this video begins, I just want to let you know, this is my 1000th video on the channel. I know I was going to put a poll up on Twitter saying what I should do for um, my 1000th video. Already there's one vote for a Final Reach 5 teaser. So, I don't know, maybe sometime, uh, sometime soon I'm still getting some mysteries in. So you guys can try to figure it out. <laughs> so, um... So right now, uh, thank you all so much for your support during me making 1,000 total videos. Yeah. <laughs> and still, it's crazy to think that I have so many subscribers. It's kind of terrifying, actually. Really terrifying. But you guys are really awesome. I love all of you so much. So much deeply. And I really hope you get to enjoy this video. So... Remember, always stay possum, because you are possum. And again, Divim's glitched in the wall. So we can be free. Hello there, all of you possum people. It's me, Grand Penny. Welcome back to our Woods 101 Balance Walkthrough. Now, if you guys don't remember last time, we seriously worked in Sardonyx, like in like under two episodes. That's crazy. So crazy, man. And now we're in the Conda Desert, which is like one of my favorite places in Chrysalis to even visit. Other ones last wood because of the because of the music actually. And good news, I actually found someone for for the Myth and Storm co-op walkthrough. I'm gonna reveal it soon. So don't worry, I reveal it tomorrow. Okay, so we gotta talk to this person, both the pattern dancer. We have enough to feed Sandstone Village now. What are these uh, comestibles made of? It's not some kind of meat, is it? You are a funny creature, Burrow Knight. Quick, quick, back to Sandstone Village. Okay. So, these guys basically know Hush Hush lore. Hush Hush. And we gotta teleport it now. The path appears to die miserably ahead, but I'll show you the Hush Hush way through. Okay, I need to activate this uh, teleporter thing first. Here we go, teleport to Silent Market. Yeah. Always have to make sure it's, uh... I can't believe we're already working this far in Christmas Part 2. Dang. Don't remember. We are into the true desert now, where the hoppers live, and other beasts of nasty habits. Razor your eyes to watch. <laughs> the Sandstone Village. We will die another day, friends. Hoppers are nomadic. We hop through the desert to hide from the fire gaze of the Shadow Queen. We have battled her for generations, since she burned down the Conda Forest and turned it into this sandy waste. It is time you met our wise ones, the Elders. Presta the Blazing Wind, Edwin the Arcane Architect, and Saul the One Who Knows. Ah, a spell. We battle the Shadow with every breath. Yes! Be quiet, calm burrower friend. That was Harper's know her moves by the motion of the hive. He was quiet calm for many months, but now is buzz buzz more than in memory. Greetings, Spellbinder. They say the Shadow Queen was once a Spellbinder. A wizard. The Spellbinder is the Lightbringer. Nothing like the Shadow Queen. As you say, the Astral Relics were built a thousand years ago, when the world was newborn and blind. The Shadow Queen came to the Conda Forest to steal the secrets of the Solar Ark. For the brightest light casts the darkest shadow. Do you have the heart fire to learn its secrets and triumph over her? What will the world look like if you fall? Here we go. Spellbinder. We are Saul. The one who knows. We learned burrow speak long ago and help teach the other can 
you learn to speak faster. Oh, you already speak, Hopper. Beaut, you are good guy. Many seasons ago, Saul saw Highwall Bestion. You traveled the Starfall Sea and back again. The Saul made the long hop once. It is how the Saul can speak as you do. The Saul teaches all hoppers scent on the long hop. You met Steve Quicksand? That brightens the day's gloom. And Bothy says his freedom was your work. You have helped us. However, our ritual drink, Sir Alden, must be fixed before the village opens her arms. Sir, wait, how many horned limes are in a hop? A short hop will suffice. Um, that's not any more helpful. Carry up of horned limes to Presta, the blazing wind, to fix Sir Alden drink. Okay, so we gotta look for these uh, horned limes, apparently. Okay, so yeah, hush hush lore, deep deep desert, twice, TT, <laughs> just like TT. Also, this place is kind of dangerous since it has like an AI of its own. Spellbinder returns. The scent of horned limes came first, and then your face is followed. Sir Alden begins with horned lime, but where does it end? Joshua trees, gnarled, twisted arms, bear seeds golden and fragrant. Joshua trees are rare, but common killers carry seeds for trade. Do them for their Joshua seeds, Spellbinder. This sounds very much like my kind of mission. Ki for Bastion! Maybe try not to shout so much. Once you have the Joshua <laughs> seeds, bring them all to Edwin the Arcane Architect. Okay, and I am back. It's actually morning now. Um, six minutes, six minutes I was recording. Six minutes I was recording. It was literally at night time, so I couldn't continue. Because I didn't want to wake up anybody. Um, so... So now, I decided to sk uh, skip over a bit, stop recording until I got to here, because there were a lot of defeat quests around between this and before, so. Plus, we're getting close to the Solar Arc anyway. the sharp teeth of Queen Jedi. I sniffed your sweat stains from a hundred paces. I'll cut you into bug food. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus Christ. Jesus, actually. Okay. I'm gonna faint on her right this instant. Never mind. There we go. Found it. Slinger and a tame mouse. Take me out beneath the dark sun sky, away from the place of my defeat. Okay. What 
did I get? Crap, I got a something. Yeah, but it's not gonna be good though. Dang. <laughs> Why do you still harrow me, foul spell slingers? Spell binders. Uh, spell binder. You beg the help of Sonya Jedi, queen of the orders of the beast. We are fierce as fire beetles, as dragons, as Tigra. We will never serve you. Hmm. But you are capable. We would trade a favor. For a favor. The big water hole is poisoned by a creeping water bow. Show him sharp and chase him out to save big water. Okay, so we pretty much gotta get through this thing. Okay. This should be easy to do. I mean. I mean, there isn't a boss in there. Should be simple. Why is everyone so focused on food in these parts? I don't know, I guess they're trying to survive. I guess they're trying to be, um, bare grills or something. <laughs> So I can't cast anything. Nope. I need to what? Something I didn't realize. Why are ice overtime spells covered by a moon symbol? It doesn't really make sense, but strange, I like strange, sort of. Sandstorm, that should be the end, right? If 
think you broke my rostrum. What is a rostrum? <laughs> is it like somewhere in your hip? Or is it something more like a back? Part of your back? Bone? Chased out by the creeping water bug. Not in the least. Big water is yours again. I grow lighthearted by your victory over the creeping water bug. Big water is ours again. But the foul stench remains. There is one more task to finish before I owe my favor. Go to Treebeard Cave and round up some desert air. Let me guess. The tree beards are as friendly and joyful as you, yes? Once you have rounded up the desert aloe from the desiccated tree beards, use it to purify the water. Okay. And again, Divim's glitch in the wall. Okay, in there. <laughs> you come with spells of fire and ice, biting, scratching, hacking, burning. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. No possible way I'm probably gonna get rid again. Apparently I did. <laughs> Okay, I get your game. Three times in a row, what the heck? My 
splinter and return to the sand. Back to the Sonya Jedi. I am wide eyed by your competence. With big water and lush once more, my people have clean drinking water. The dark sun shines upon us. A favor for a favor, as we blood vowed. My people will still bear their teeth, but we owe you the knowledge you seek. Her people will probably still try to eat us. The valley of the dark sun is not far, but the whirling sand devils block the path. They can tear the flesh from your bones. But give the sand devils this, my token, and they will part for you. As you approach the sand devils, wind picks up. It slashes at your eyes and face and catches in your clothes. You hold up the token Queen Sonya Jada I gave you, pushing against the wind. Slowly, almost grudgingly, the sand devils vanish. Now Dovin's right here. We made it! By Bastion, we made it! The journey has been long and fraught with peril, but it has been my honor to walk this far with you. Or hop, if you like. <laughs> the Solar Ark is a place for spellbinders, however, not humble knights like myself. Venture forth and learn what you must know. Wherever the path takes you, know that we are fast friends. Forever. Good luck, spellbinder. No! I have to leave Divum again! Socks! Enter this ancient structure, you feel your skin tingle, and your breath feels light. Suddenly, you see a familiar face before you. Greetings, wizard. It is my esteemed honor to speak with you in this place of power. The Solar Ark is the last great relic of astral magic in Chrysalis, and the last to still languish under the shadow. Each school of magic is represented here, and you must acquire a lens from each to complete the solar arc. Begin by entering the chamber of the sunstorm and winning the storm lens. Okay, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Finally made it to the solar arc, so that's good. So right now, thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you did enjoy this episode, why not be a awesome person by half out that like button? I'll see all of you awesome people in the next video.